guys welcome back to another video today's video is my full capsule wardrobe which i'm so so excited about um you can probably see that i have all my clothes sort of displayed not in a very nice way on my bed right here um but yes i can't wait to show you this um i'm just basically going to be pointing out my main staples uh during autumn and winter to be fair um just a few things you know if you're looking for some inspiration for you know what to wear this autumn winter um yeah i'm hoping i can be of some help yeah i've really been looking forward to this video i think because autumn and winter they're like my favorite seasons to be fair and i prefer wrapping up warm and cozy and all that so uh this sort of thing is just yeah super exciting so yeah my plan is is that i'm going to pick up show you a piece um i'll talk you through it where i got it from all that jazz and then in the corner either on this side or this side i will put a little um clip of me styling it or wearing it kind of thing so you guys can get a good idea of what it looks like on um so yes without further ado let's get into the video so first off let's start off with our coats so i've got three main coats that i'm going to be wearing this autumn and winter um i think with coats it's so easy to go overboard um there's so many different styles and like types of coats out there you know um but i'm sticking to my trusty ones that i wear all the time and i think that's the best thing to do to be honest because then that's how it stays like a capsule wardrobe you know that's how it stays as a minimal wardrobe because you're not you've not got over the top amounts of excessive things you know like of one item if that makes sense so first coat is my trusty new puffer so this is brand new for this year if you if you've watched my maternity haul you will have seen this in it um sorry i haven't put this on a hanger because it's so big um i'll see if i can hold it up like this so this is it big old puffer coat it's a lovely sort of beige cream color um yeah i got this off asos i got it in quite a big size um it is oversized anyway when you buy it um yeah so i got extra large whatever that was um but the brand is actually called vera moda uh but it's a great big puffer like it is just the best like i can't explain to you it's got everything it's rare to find a puffer with a hood to, to first off it's really rare to get that like a nice one because normally i find the nice the ones i actually like are ones that just have the collar and don't have a hood and i hate that because i feel like when it's raining it is super warm so it's going to be great like it's going to be great for the colder months a hundred percent um <laughs> when i tried it on i was absolutely sweated yeah like i said i think i got this in the sale that's what i said about i think i got it in the sale luckily um but to be fair this is probably the best uh puffer i've ever bought so i'm really happy with this i can't wait to start wearing it like yeah i'm just so excited and like i say i love this color for autumn and stuff it's just going to be so lovely um so yeah that's my first trusty coat my second trusty coat which i have actually already worn this year believe it or not is my shacket so this is just another staple um especially as it's transitioning from summer to autumn because this isn't one obviously that you'd want to wear in the winter it's not going to keep you that warm unless you sort of layered it up with lots of stuff um this is actually from new look this uh shacket it's a really lovely sort of dark green <coughs> white and <coughs> gray i'm so sorry i don't know what's wrong with my voice <laughs> typical when i'm trying to do a sit down video um <coughs> but yeah it's from new look again it's a bit oversized i love that um and i feel like this is the coat i reach for the most um again probably not in december but autumn yeah because it's not freezing freezing cold uh, i feel like this would look nice pumpkin picking i think i got this <coughs> last year uh in new look i'm pretty sure it will still be on there obviously i'll put all the um links to all these in the description box below um as long as i can find them if not i'll just uh link if i can't find them i'll link something similar uh, but yeah new look i'm not sure what size oh i got this in medium to large 
and it's perfect. I'm a size 12 to 14 UK uh, normally. And just for reference, I know obviously I am pregnant at the moment, but everything I'm pointing out in these videos, um, I would wear whether I was pregnant or not. So the pregnancy thing is sort of irrelevant. So that's why I'm just doing it as a full capsule wardrobe because I'll be wearing these probably next year when I'm not pregnant, you know what I mean? So yes, so my second trusty coat is my jacket and I would definitely advise investing in a jacket. I think they're great. Um, definitely good for the transitional seasons. So yeah. And then my third coat choice, you'll probably see it, is of course a trusty old trench coat, guys. So this, I've actually had for quite a few years. Um, I reckon like two or three years now, you know. Uh, but it's just a plain camel trench coat, just your classic. Um, and this I actually got from Boohoo. So yeah, I think it was a good price to be fair. It wasn't over expensive because I know they can be. Um, but this is just such a nice coat for if you're sort of going out and maybe you want to look a bit dressier um, and a, or a bit more formal. Um, this is just great to dress up an outfit, I feel like. Um, and I loved last year um, putting like leggings, a top, basically what I'm wearing um, with some like ankle socks and uh, some nice trainers with a trench coat. I just feel like that was such a nice vibe. And just so you guys know, I'm not some sort of like style person who knows trends and stuff like that. I, I literally am not good. <laughs> I'm not good at knowing like trends for the years and stuff like this. This is gen just generally my full wardrobe. Like whether it's stylish or not or on point or on, on point, on trend, like I don't really care. I'm not, I don't really follow it sort of thing. I just like wearing the stuff that I feel comfortable in and I think looks nice. So yes a classic old trench coat i'm pretty sure most people probably have one um because i feel like most people will say about trench coat but yeah it definitely is just great for if you want to sort of dress up an outfit a bit um again great for layering these always look lovely with a really nice scarf as well um and obviously there was um i love it when you could put a hoodie under it as well i think that's a really nice looking outfit and again that will then double up the warmth um which is great so yeah Okay, so next section we'll move on to is shoes. Um, I don't have many <laughs> for shoes. Um, I'll start with the first thing that I don't actually have in my hand, which are my wellies. Um, and I know <laughs> that's going to sound <laughs> really, probably not normal actually to hear on um, a full capsule wardrobe. But uh, yeah, my wellies are definitely on there because I, well, to be fair, I wear them all year round. Um, but I feel like in fall and winter, you can get away with sort of styling them more with nicer outfits. Um, and yeah, I just love my wellies. If you're a dog walker, you know, or if you just like going out on walks, wellies are a great, a great buy really, a great investment. Um, so yeah, we definitely recommend a pair of wellies. Okay, second pair, um, which are... Again, I got these for my 25th birthday. Uh, in that video, you would have seen them. But on my Nike Air Forces, I can't wait to wear these this autumn. Like I said, I've got um, I've got a pair of lovely um, new Nike socks, and they're all in like neutral colours, and I just can't wait to wear them with these. Um, but these are just such a nice, solid. Really, any sort of nice trainer, I think, is great. Um, obviously, again, not forgetting dirty. But um, again, like these with wide leg trousers. Yeah, and to be fair, even with like a maxi dress or I'm trying to think, yeah, again, like leggings and that, like what I'm wearing today, I'd wear these with them. Again, it's like a solid pair of shoes that to be fair, goes with most stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend, not necessarily Nike Air Forces, but you know, a nice white pair of trainers. Um, I think that they always look great. And again, they would look really nice with trench coat. Actually, to be fair, all three coats, these would look really nice with. So yeah, highly recommend them. And then thirdly, my last pair of shoes are these beige boots. Uh, they are a bit dirty, guys. I have, again, had these for quite a few years now. Um, <clears throat> but they're like chunky, real chunky cream boots. And I'm just, yeah, I love them. Like I said, I've had them actually for quite a while. Um, and believe it or not, these were from Next. Um, I think, yeah, got them in the size six, which is the size I am anyway. But yeah, these are from Next. They were, I remember, they were 40 quid. Um, but to be fair, they were worth the investment because like I said, I've had these for ages. Um, and again, 
these are so nice to wear like for like especially for like autumn events and stuff like going pumpkin picking I feel like these are such like a great thing to wear and again I just it's so nice about being able to wear boots and stuff um like I said I'll put a little box next to me of me wearing them um I'm actually on a mission though because I've only got these beige boots and I really want to get a nice new pair of black boots um so I'm tempted to just try and find another pair from next like this bit in black my only thing is, is that I'm not sure if I want to get like black boots like this or if I want to go for lace up um I'm really struggling between the two because I like both and a part of me feels like should I go for lace up to change up a little bit because again I think they look really nice with most outfits um even dresses they'll look nice with as well um which I think is really lovely so yes we will see i'll keep you updated on that but yes my lovely chunky boots or any chunky boots i think for that matter moving on to tops again not very there's nothing really special about tops in the autumn and winter um so yeah my basics will be like this like this black t-shirt that i wear this one's from primark so this is a cheap version but i've got like a cropped pretty little thing one that i still wear at the moment even whilst being pregnant so i yeah my t-shirts for form winter will be these black t-shirts um probably some black vest tops and i know that sounds crazy but for layering and you know like putting jumpers and stuff over the top they're great um yeah that's all i've got for t-shirts i don't really i wouldn't really wear anything else other than that um trousers wise um again what i've got on trusty pair of leggings obviously these are maternity ones but um i wear normal leggings black leggings as well i've got black and gray i've also seen on next they've got a pair of leggings like a two pack and again they're like a brown and then like a beige color and again i think they'd be really nice for fall as well so for me yeah leggings is a must for autumn um you'll see to be fair you'll see me pair them with literally most of the outfits that i'm trying on in these clips and then other trousers are wide leg trousers and i'm not joking thanks to my pregnancy i've discovered wide leg trousers like i didn't used to wear them before i was pregnant and i can't believe i didn't because they're absolutely great they're so comfortable and they're so stylish i feel like they elevate a they elevate an outfit i feel like so yeah i've got my trusty i've got again black pair of wide leg trousers these are from boohoo again but like i say these are actually maternity ones so <laughs> if you're not pregnant i wouldn't recommend getting them because they're so long for a start they are so so long but obviously yeah black pair of wide leg trousers again they look great with a lot of stuff i've also got a white pair um, i wore these to the airport actually um <clears throat> and these are lovely like i'm really loving the white obviously you have to wear white knickers under it guys because i mean to be fair you can see the white knickers under it anyway uh but these are were actually from sainsbury's these white ones and these are lovely because they're like a linen-y sort of um material and yeah do you know what guys i got these wide leg trousers for summer but i'm gonna transition them and wear them into fall and winter i'm not gonna get like a thicker pair i'm not again i just don't need to so yeah would definitely recommend i think a pair of wide leg trousers if you have not tried them yet to be honest i wasn't sure if i would suit a wide leg trouser but actually surprisingly i feel like i do for someone who has quite big hips i think it looks better because it can sit i'm talking obviously more about when i'm not pregnant but when you have wide leg trousers obviously you, you wear them up high most of the time unless you have the low waist ones but i'm not one of them people <laughs> so i'd have them up high but i think because they're not tight they don't stick and they don't show off the sort of love handles and the indents of my hips so i think it looks more flattering um so if you're a girl with big hips or love handles or anything like that and you're looking to sort of not hide them because i don't want to be like negative about it but if you're looking for like flattering trouser wise wear then i'd definitely recommend giving the wide leg trouser thing a go um because it's definitely paid off personally for me so yeah that is the trousers guys moving on to jumpers the exciting thing the best thing ever again i've actually only got two things to show you guys which seems crazy okay but again you know do we need to overload it all the time 
like I say, as long as you've got coats and that, really, the coat, you wear a coat most of the time, you know what I mean, when it's colder and stuff. So, yeah, just two items, guys. Um, first one being this lovely, lovely knitted dark green cardigan. I am so in love with this. Um, I only recently bought this, actually. And believe it or not, this, this cardi was off Sheen and like Sheen, I think I said, uh, I say Sheen, some people say it's Sheen, but um, I don't know. Yeah, this was off Sheen and like, hey look, I'm not one for buying off Sheen normally, but uh, you know sometimes you get into that sort of thing of like looking at things on there and I just thought, oh, I'm just going to buy a few things just to see what it's like. Um, and this was actually a really good purchase and again, normally I struggle to find a cardigan that actually looks nice on me. I normally find that they make me look like sort of frumpy, really. Like they make me look a bit pants. But I tried this on the other day with a vest top and oh my God, absolutely love it. I think because of the balloon arms, it's really nice. And it is like a generally thick knitted material. Like I, I'm honestly, I was honestly so surprised and I'm so excited to wear it. Like I've never ever had a cardigan that I thought looked nice on me. So yeah. This was a great buy. Um, again, I think I just bought this in my, my normal size, whatever that was. Like I say, I'll pop that all down in the description because I can't really remember it all at the moment. But yeah, so would definitely recommend, again, a Cardi. I mean, even if it's just for being at home, guys, like how cosy is it to sort of wake up? It's raining. <laughs> to be fair, it looks like it today. <laughs> wake up, you know, get changed, put a warm, cosy Cardi on and make it hot drink or like a, I don't know a coffee a tea or hot chocolate whatever floats your boat like and put on like Harry Potter that is just so excited oh my god <laughs> definitely loving it and again um, I'm a massive fan of like the color green being like um sort of fair and like a bit of a redhead like dark greens and stuff any greens really I really love and again I thought the green would be nice for in near Christmas you know, because of red, green, gold, all that jazz. Oh my God. So I'm getting way too excited. Yeah, so definitely nice Cardi. My other purchase that I got recently, I've tried it on a little bit, love it, is this big old jumper. Um, and I actually got it from Next, which I'm loving. It's just got like a bit of French writing on the side, but I'm loving the black and white, absolutely loving it. Um, and I love something like this. Um, you'll have seen in my really like my older videos. I used to wear that green sort of jumper, and I like <laughs> they're like a comfort thing. I think it's just nice to be able to like if you don't know quite well to think about what you want to wear for the day, put on a pair of leggings, put on a jumper like this, and yeah, I just absolutely love it. I freaking love it. And again, guys, this was from Next. Um, it was hang on. So it was £30, but I think I did buy it as soon as it came out. Also, on the subject of Next, um, oh, sorry, just quickly, I bought this in an extra large, so I actually bought it in a bigger size than what I would have it because I like these to be oversized kind of thing and come over my bum and stuff, so that's why I got it in a bigger size. But yeah, speaking of Next, um, basically, my mum showed me the other day online, I haven't seen it in store, but they actually have a jumper out at the moment and it's like a pumpkin spice latte jumper, uh, like this in like a beige colour, but it's got like a pumpkin spice latte, little sign thing on it and also some writing on the back and it is so, so sweet and so cool, like and cute for, for fall, so we'd definitely check that out. Again, I'm not sure how much it was, it's probably similar sort of price to £8, um, but yeah, if you really want to get in the uh, full like festive, autumnal like feels then yeah you could definitely check that out i'll pop a link to it down below um for anyone interested but yeah so that is my second jumper guys okay guys now moving on to dresses because dresses is in there guys it is in there again i've got a few more than probably what i need but i thought i would just show you a few of them so you can get an idea of maybe the different sort of style dresses maybe you'd want to wear um so again as you will have seen in my maternity haul i'm putting my maxi black maxi dress on there because again i would wear this with a nice coat and probably my air maxes again um just a plain black one like i say this is from 
pretty little thing and it's a shape one but this has been so so great um and i really feel good in it when i wear it which is so nice um but like i say this is a nice one for like i said i can wear it at the moment whilst i'm pregnant but i know i'd also be able to wear it once i've had the baby as well so yeah i think that is definitely on here um like i say some people aren't into maxi dresses and again i didn't to be fair used to wear maxi dresses until this year since i've been pregnant and tried them out and i really really liked them don't get me wrong there are some maxi dresses that i'll buy and they don't look very nice but they are normally the cheaper ones and just worse quality basically so i think as long as you invest in like a better quality sort of one then you'll be fine and they actually can look really nice and super flattering so yeah first dress is a maxi dress i've then got this black dress it's like a sort of skater dress um is that what it's called is it a skater or an a-line i'm not really sure um but yeah this is from new look and not to be morbid but i actually bought this for a funeral but um i actually really like it i got it in a size 14 because again i like because it's got the tie i'm happy for it to be oversized because it you know like you tuck yourself in i think again it can look more flattering so this is a size 14 it's got the tie detail that you tie up around the waist um and i like the little again sort of three quarter balloon sleeves but this with a pair of tights which is an accessory I definitely recommend for autumn and fall. This with a pair of tights, and again, that's what I'm thinking, like some black lace-up boots, I think could look super, super cute. I really need to decide. I think I am gonna get some lace-up ones, but um, yeah. And again, this is like something easy to just put on, I feel like. It's quite nice to just be able to put a dress on sometimes, because you don't have to think about anything, you know? You can just put it on. So yeah, new look, guys, lovely, simple dress. Wasn't mega expensive, I don't think, either, but, um, yeah, just a lovely item to wear this fall and winter third item or third dress i've got is this lovely black dress i don't know what sort of style it's classed as but again it's got the lovely balloon sleeves which is so nice and i really like this sort of like ruffle neck here um and it's like one of them sort of oversized ones you know but yeah, so I got it from In The Style. It was the from the Gemma Louise Miles uh, collection. Uh, if you don't know who she is, she's a YouTuber as well. And yeah, she bought out her own collection. I think it was either last autumn or the autumn before. But yeah, when I saw her in this, I thought, oh my God, it looks so nice. I really, I've got to get one. Um, and I absolutely love wearing it with or without tights. And again, with boots, uh, it's gonna look gorgeous. And yeah, it's just so nice. It's got a very low neck. Um, so you have to be mindful of that when getting it uh, in regards to size. Cause I think, oh, okay. So I think originally I got a size 12 uh, and it came and it was actually super, super big. Um, so then I returned it and got a size lower, which was a UK, a UK, oh my God, a UK 10. But yeah, like I say, it's and this is a much better size. Like I say, it still has quite a low neck. But what I tend to do is when I'm wearing it, I'll sort of push it back a little bit. Um, but again, I still really like myself in this, and I feel like it's very flattering. Um, especially again, being a bit big around the waist now, I wouldn't normally wear something that's like oversized and flowy in regards to a dress because I feel like it would make me look bigger. Um, but this doesn't do that. So yeah, was very happy with this and um, would definitely recommend maybe a dress style like this if you're interested in something like that. Final item guys that I'm going to show you is a classic. I feel like most people have these in their wardrobes or on YouTube, people who do the, the full wardrobes and stuff, they always have one and I'm on board with it because it's a winner in my book to be fair. So yeah, the last item is of course, a good old blazer. Um, this I've had again, I reckon for like three or four years. And again, it's New Look. Do you know what? New Look has some great staple bits, you know. This is a size 12, but again, this is like an oversized blazer. So um, it's a bit baggier, but again, I love wearing this. Like it can be a simple thing, like you can wear it casually. Again, like with what I'm wearing and then a blazer over the top, just to smarten it up a little bit with some Air Maxes. Or you can, you know, if you're going out for the night, somewhere nice for a meal, pop in a blazer on, jazzes it up a little bit. And 
I just love it. I love it in this dark chocolate brown colour as well. So, so nice. And yeah, you just can't beat a blazer, guys, because then this can also sometimes replace a coat. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it. Like, I feel like everyone knows what I mean. Like, a blazer is a great staple. You know, if you're sort of thinking, like, what do I put over this? A blazer is there to save the day, basically. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend any sort of blazer um for the autumn and winter season so guys that's gonna go ahead and conclude my video i really hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed seeing the bits that i would choose to wear uh for autumn and winter and what i'm gonna be wearing this autumn and winter and like i say i'll put all the links down in the description box below and yeah i just hope you've really enjoyed it and if you like this sort of content i'm gonna be there's gonna be more and more content coming please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and of course i'll see you in my next video bye guys